Bambi was a roe deer. He was no longer a little fawn, nor was he a stag yet. He had to learn a lot before he could become the prince of the deer like the old stag. Bambi had been playing with Faline for a long time before he fell asleep. While he was sleeping, he heard a voice. Suddenly, he woke up. He thought he heard Faline calling him. Bambi looked around. He remembered seeing Faline as he lay down, standing nearby and nibbling leaves. Where was she now? Then she called again. With a sidewise spring, Bambi turned in the direction the sound came from. Then he heard it again. The call came again clearly. Thin as the birds twittering and tender. Come, come, it said. Yes, that was her voice. That was Faline. Bambi started to run. While he was rushing away, he saw the old stag. The royal stag was standing ahead, barring his path. Bambi had no time for the noble stag just now. He had thoughts for Faline alone. He greeted the stag hastily and tried to hurry by. Where are you going? asked the old stag. To Faline, said Bambi. Do not go, said the old stag. She's calling me, he said in response. No, she's not calling, said the stag. The call came once again, thin as the birds twittering. Come, listen, Bambi cried excitedly. There it is again. I hear it, said the old stag nodding. Bambi felt the ground burning under his feet. But, he said, I know her voice. I will come right back. No, said the old stag sadly. You will never come back, never again. The call came again. I must go, cried Bambi. Then the old stag declared in a commanding voice, We'll go together. Quickly, cried Bambi and bounded off. No, slowly, commanded the old stag in a voice that forced Bambi to obey. Stay behind me. Move one step at a time. The old stag began to move forward. Bambi followed, breathing heavily with impatience. Listen, said the old stag without stopping. No matter how often the call comes, do not stir from my side. Bambi did not dare to oppose. The old stag advanced slowly, and Bambi followed him. How cleverly the old stag moved! Not a sound came from under his hooves. Not a leaf was disturbed. Not a twig snapped. And yet they were gliding through thick bushes. Bambi was amazed and had to admire him in spite of his impatience. He had never dreamed that anybody could move like that. Several times the old stag stopped, although no call had come, and lifted his head, listening. Bambi heard nothing. The old stag turned away from the direction of the call and took a diversion. Bambi raged inwardly. The call came again and again. At last, they drew nearer to it. Then still nearer, the old stag whispered, No matter what you see, do not move. Do you hear? Watch everything I do and act just as I do, carefully, and do not lose your head. They went a few steps farther, and suddenly that sharp scent that Bambi knew so well struck them full in the face. He swallowed so much of it that he nearly cried out. He stood as though rooted on the ground for a moment. His heart seemed to be pounding in his throat. The old stag stood calmly beside him and motioned with his eyes. It was man. Man was standing quite close to them, leaning against the trunk of an oak, hidden by hazel bushes. 
He was calling softly, Come, come. Bambi was completely puzzled and terrified. He began to understood that it was man who was calling, Come, come. He wanted to flee. Be still, whispered the old stag. Bambi controlled himself. Let us go back, said the old stag, and turned about. They glided away cautiously. The old stag moved with a zigzag course, the purpose of which Bambi did not understand. He wanted to run fast, but the stag walked slowly, stopping and listening. He would begin a new zigzag course and stop again, going very slowly ahead. They were far from the danger spot. If he stops again, thought Bambi, I'll thank him. But suddenly the old stag was nowhere to be seen.